Welcome to Slow Living, I'm Esther, and in this video I'll show you how to mend holes in your socks. This is the one that I did. And once you learn this technique, you can actually use it to mend holes in t-shirts, knits, anything like that, so it's very useful. Let's get started. These are the socks that I'm going to be mending. This is probably the most important thing. It's called a darning mushroom. And if you don't have one of these, you can actually use something like a rubber ball, or I'm thinking even a small glass jar would do the trick because you're just going to use that underneath whatever you are mending to hold it in place. And that will allow you to use your needle and thread and do the darning properly. If you're mending woolen socks, I would definitely suggest wool needles. And that just means that they're blunt at the End, so they're not going to pierce your yarn and create even more holes and of course you will need yarn so you want to pick a yarn that is the same weight as the garment that you are mending so my socks are quite thick so I used a thicker yarn if you're mending something that's quite thin use a thinner yarn or even um, a cotton or polyester thread you do want a yarn that sort of matches what you are mending so unless you want a contrast look um, you can use a different colored thread if you like the look of visible mending otherwise pick a color Color that will blend in nicely. Now to begin mending, turn your sock inside out. I kept forgetting to do this, it's not a big deal breaker, but just remember to turn it inside out before you do anything. Now use the darning mushroom or the jar or the ball, whatever you're using, and pop it inside your garment. Now you can see that the darning mushroom just helps create this clear space for you to see the hole and to be able to hold on to the garment while you are working on it. Next, cut off a piece of yarn that is approximately maybe two feet in length. You don't want it to be too long, otherwise it'll get all knotted as you're trying to work with it. The goal of darning is to recreate all the yarn that goes across that hole. So we're not simply sticking the hole together and tying it up. We're actually recreating all the little bits of yarn that should go across horizontally and vertically. What we do is we pick up little stitches in the sock that are still there around the outside of the hole. Pick up maybe try every second or third stitch as you can see with my needle. So then you can imagine the yarn going over and under, over and under, and that's recreating the missing stitches in your hole. This will start to make more sense when we do a few more lines, so bear with me. You don't need to tie a knot at the end or anything like that, but you do need to leave maybe five or six centimeters of the yarn. Just leave it open and don't pull it all the way through. Now it just so happens that the socks that I'm mending are a nylon wool blend. So those little black pieces of yarn that are across my hole, they're the nylon pieces because nylon is a synthetic and it doesn't wear away as quickly as wool does. So that's a nice little guideline for me, it makes it a little bit easier for me. If you don't have the nylon and you've just got a big gaping hole, it's fine. You're gonna use the same technique that I'm doing here. Now you can start to see this mending taking shape. It doesn't make much sense at the beginning, but once you do a few lines, you'll start to see how we are recreating these vertical and horizontal lines. Once you've completed the full length of your hole, just simply turn your sock around and then start going back the other way. If you don't have those nylon bits in the middle of your hole and you've just got a hole, pick up the stitches on one side of the hole like this, and then allow your yarn to travel all the way across to the other side of the hole before picking up a few more stitches on the other side. When you start to run out of thread, just leave a tail of about 10 centimeters and then begin with a new thread. There's no need to tie it off or anything like that. Now continue picking up those stitches back and forth until you have completely covered your hole in one direction like this. And then it's time to do the other direction. So these lines will be perpendicular to the ones that you just did. And think of it as a basket weave. So we still wanna go over and under, over and under. Once you have completed doing all the over and under um, darning in the other direction, you should see that your holes should have disappeared and your darning is basically complete. To finish things off, you can trim your threads to about three centimeters since they'll be on the inside of your sock and because they are tightly woven in there, they shouldn't come undone. Now you can flip your sock the right way out and it should be as good as new.
enjoyed this video. I was really happy with how these socks turned out. So now I'm going to try and get started on some of my knits that have little moth holes in them and mend them as well. I would love to see how you go. Um, comment below if you have any questions or if you have any other things that you would like to mend and maybe I could help you out. I'll see you again next time. Bye!